So this video shouldn't be too long, but I've heard a lot of people talking about Seven Deadly Sins as if any character from that series has a chance to show up in Jump Force, but like, it just can't. If you Google Jump Force, this is the description that pops up. Jump Force is a fighting game developed by Spike Chunsoft and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment, featuring characters from various manga series featured in the weekly Shonen Jump anthology. And if you go ahead and Google Seven Deadly Sins and click on the wiki, what you should know Notice is that it's just not a weekly shonen jump series. It's a weekly shonen series. It's not a weekly shonen jump series. And really, that should be the end of this video. However, there is one path forward where I could actually see a Seven Deadly Sins character being represented in Jump Force. This actually goes for all of the non shonen jump series as well, including One Punch Man and all these other characters. And that path is obviously DLC. Jump Force is currently being published by Bandai, every anime fan's least and most favorite publisher. Bandai has access to literally all the anime. Well, practically all the anime. So they almost definitely have the ability to add a Seven Deadly Sins character, but if you look at the statements from the developers... I'm not sure if you're familiar with Shonen Jump. It's, of course, they have franchises like the world-famous Dragon Ball, One Piece, and Naruto. And it's their 50th anniversary, so this game is kind of in celebration of that. It's pretty clear they want to keep the game and its characters limited to the Shonen Jump series. Ugh, and I really don't want to mention this, but I know someone will bring it up. Yes, Super Saiyan Blue Goku is in fact in the game, even though he is technically a quote-unquote V-Jump character instead of a weekly Shonen Jump character, but it is worth noting that V-Jump is specifically a monthly spin-off of the Shonen Jump magazine, and not only that, but Goku himself originally came from Weekly Shonen Jump, so to say he's not a Shonen Jump character is a very, very, very big stretch. The reason I say that DLC is a possibility for characters from Seven Deadly Sins to show up, or a character from One Punch Man, or heck, even Attack on Titan, is because you you could treat them as guest characters the same way that games like Injustice 2, which is a DC fighting game, which is a celebration of DC, happens to also have Mortal Kombat characters as guest characters. They could do the same thing here with non shonen jump characters. I'm not sure how much I buy into that. I'm not going to say one way or the other whether I think it's likely, whether I think it's going to happen, whether it's not going to happen, because in all honesty, I haven't put enough thought into it. It's something I'm going to put more thought into now, and I guess I'll come back to you guys and say something in the future. Oh, it also just occurred to me that this also applies to Full Metal Alchemist, and I'm sure there's a couple other series I'm forgetting, but the point is there's a ton of different series that can't be included because they're not technically Shonen Jump series. Even if it's owned by the same company, it needs to be a part of the Shonen Jump Weekly Magazine. I appreciate you watching this video. My name has been Bilbsy. If you're new around here, remember to subscribe and leave a like on the video. I'll see you in the next video.